183 years ago today, a group of volunteers fought to the death to defend the Alamo from Mexican troops, obviously making an advance on Texas. The 13-day siege ended with the fall of the Alamo, but it is considered the pivotal battle in the fight for Texas independence. Audrey is live at the Alamo this morning where they're marking today's anniversary and commemorating the event. Audrey, I see it's already started there behind you. Yes, there are a lot of people here this morning and they are about to start a ceremony to really commemorate the siege and the fall of the Alamo. And joining me right now is Brian Gibson, who is with the Alamo Society. And Brian, tell me, this is an annual event for you guys. Um, how excited does it make you to see so many people coming out here to remember, um, you know, really a pivotal moment in the Texas Revolution? Um, not only does it make me excited, but the emotion here always runs real deep every year. This is my ninth year coming down um, and had to have everybody here dressed in remembrance of both sides of the battle, not only the Texans that died and sacrificed for a future government here, but also the Mexican soldados who came here who were fighting for their country at that time, and a lot of them uh, were forced to be here. And so I think it's good to remember both sides. And um, I know there is about to be a ceremony taking place. What will we see here this morning? Um, I think you'll see a lot of moments of silence. I think you'll see some marine actors that probably fire a few volleys. You're going to see um, just the whole mission faith thing, divine intervention. You're going to see some reads laid by uh, direct descendants and some organizations in honor of the people that died here. Yeah, so a very, very special day. And how special um, is this anniversary, especially because there's been so much talk about, you know, moving this area and changing it. And this could be maybe one of the last times that we were here commemorating it like this way. How special is that for you? Um, I think it, I really don't have an opinion on the changes and stuff uh, because my organization is a very historical organization and I leave the politics for the pol politicians and, and I will always do that. But I think every year is special for us being down here um, and no matter what is done, and there's always going to be two sides to the question on what should be done down here. All I know is the Alamo Society is here to help the Alamo tell the story on however they want to interpret it. And um, the Alamo has asked us um, to help increase the number of uh, reenactors here. And as of right now, I see seven people from my organization that were in uniform last year. So all I can do is just try to help the story for not only the Alamo, San Antonio, Texas, and the world, because this is a world story. Um, a lot of things changed because of this. Definitely, a, definitely a pivotal moment for the Texas Revolution and a huge uh, moment for San Antonio. Of course, it's what our city is based around. So this morning we have some people singing right now, starting off the ceremony, and of course you have reenactors. And we'll be out here all morning to uh, bring you coverage of this. Guys, back to you. Audrey, quick question. How long are the commemorations going to last for for those who want to head out there and watch it in person? Um, it should last for the next hour or so, but um, there will be reading off names of those who uh, died here at the Alamo later today. All right, Audrey, thank you very much.